So here we are, we're gonna do a quick YouTube video showing you guys how to stream from your Xbox to Twitch. And this is more designed for people that already stream on Mixer using their Xbox and what the tools you can use and utilize now going from your Xbox to Twitch. Cause that's really gonna be your only option. So something else comes out or until the Xbox releases something that'll allow you to stream to other platforms, which they've hinted at, but who knows? Uh, right now it's super easy and I'll show you how to do it. Let's jump right on in. So from your from your homepage, wherever your homepage is, you're gonna need to download this application. It's a Twitch application. It's how it's before you would just go and watch mixture streams and that's how you consume content for streams, live streams. Now you will have to download a separate application. It's super easy to, to download. You just go, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. You go to the store page. Do a search and just type in Twitch. There it is. So when you download the application, it'll load up and it'll look just like this. It's loading you in. And then the first thing it's gonna ask you, uh, well actually it doesn't ask you. Uh, you click here to sign in and it gives you a sign in number thing here to log into your Twitch. I'll give you so you can see it. You go to twitch.tv forward slash activate. This will allow you to activate. You can do it from a mobile phone or a computer but this will then activate your Twitch account to your Xbox. So let me do that real fast. Twitch.tv forward slash topic tech. Actually, no, no, no. Uh, activate. We type in the code, super simple. As it's authorized, it says, hey, this is your account. Sure. Once you do that, it logs you in. Once you're here, now you can go and make sure you follow topic tech. If you haven't already, I'm sure you have. You can search me T O P I C T E C H. Well, bam, there you go. And there I am. You'll see my giant T right next to tonic tech. I'm not tonic tech, toxic teacher. <laughs> so these are a list of other users that have a similar name to mine, um, but it's the giant T. You can't miss it. Click it, hit the follow button. But now since you're here, uh, the, the main reason why you're watching this video is how to broadcast. So now that you're on the Twitch application, you just go here, click here, broadcast. We're currently streaming right now, so I can't go live or start streaming, but you'll type in your title here. Your game will appear here. So whenever you start the game, it'll actually automatically change it for you. Super cool. Um, you can change it. So if you have a camera, you can hook up a camera. It's super easy. You plug it in through USB, and then it allows you to toggle or place wherever you want to put your camera. So this is my camera on my PC. But we also now have the option, as soon as I plugged it up, it recognized it, gives me the option to place it somewhere. You can put it wherever you want. I normally put mine in the center on the left. So let me hide my camera. Uh, so center left, bam. You can have your broadcast bar. This is, I believe, where you see your chat. Uh, bottom right or bottom left. Let's do bottom left. Your microphone volume, I don't have a microphone hooked up to it because it's your headset. Your chat volume, you would adjust it there. Your game volume, you would adjust it there. And then your bit rate, I would just put automatic. It's testing it right now. Now my Xbox currently is on Wi-Fi. I wouldn't recommend streaming on Wi-Fi unless you have a really good router. We'll see what my options gives me. No, connection timed out, feels bad, man. I wonder if it's because I'm already streaming on Twitch right now, so. Or I need to be hooked up through Ethernet. Let me try hooking up through Ethernet. A few moments later. Uh, let's try again. What is my magic bit rate? Nope, oh, doesn't work. It's probably because I'm already live. I think what it does, it like does it. It sends like a test signal. That's okay. I would probably oh, I did it. I accidentally pressed the button again. All right. Um. So I would just do. 2500 that's that's more of a normal number for console streaming you can try like 3000 uh, that's a good number and what that what bit rate is is just the quality of data that's being sent from your console to the streaming platform at one time so the more the more like if you're playing like call of duty or things that are moving really fast you'd like to have a higher bit rate but your internet needs to support it and the upload speed as well too Last but not least is your stream resolution. You can do 1080p, 720p. I would recommend one of those. Again, it's really dependent on your internet speeds. Mine should be good to do 1080p. And then you just start streaming. And that's it. It's very simple. 
You can start going live right now, especially since Mixer is closing down. And Twitch is going to be one of your only options currently to start streaming or continue streaming and bringing over your community. Pretty much it. If you're, if you're going to be streaming from your Xbox, not having overlays, it's not a big deal. It's something that you can work towards. But providing content and showing your audience that you are growing um, is going to be what gets you started. Once you, you know, build up, maybe earn some money from streaming. There's lots of different ways you can earn money from streaming and not just from donations and subscriptions. Once you start earning some money, then you can possibly invest in a computer that will handle a lot more of your streaming software side of stuff. Then um, you'd be good to go. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, please do subscribe for more videos like this. Small, simple, short videos. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.